How to use MailerLite in 2021. MailerLite will help you create awesome email marketing campaigns for your websites and your web shops. So let's get started. What you have to do is just go to MailerLite.com and sign up for free. The signing up process is pretty easy. All you have to do is just give your company name, your email address and set up a password. After that, click on create my account. So once your account is created, the second step is to complete your profile. So you just have to go and click on complete profile. Here we will add information about our company and complete our profile and give our information. Okay, so now what I have to do is add my first name, which is gonna be like the name of the organization. Just I'm going with that. And then they're asking the company or organization name. So I am just going with this. Then they're asking about the address. Go ahead and add your address. Okay, so you have to add your address, city, country, and state. After that, they're asking about the time zone. You can go ahead and choose any of the time zone, whatever you want to. So they're asking what industry are you in? So I'm just going to go with marketing and advertisement. How many people are you working in your organization? For now, I'm just going with 6 to 10. When was the last time you sent a campaign? So let's just say I haven't sent any campaign yet. How many subscribers do you have? Less than 1000. How do you collect subscribers? And I will say that I have yet to start collecting subscribers. If you do have any other platform from where you are getting your subscribers, so you can go ahead and add that. I am just going with I have yet to start. What content do you plan to send to your subscribers? I'm just going to add video tutorials have you used another email marketing service so i'm just gonna go with no have you ever used another website builder let's just say no do you have any e-commerce platform now if you do have any e-commerce platform you can go ahead and select that i'm gonna go with no how did you find about us let's go with youtube great okay they're saying specify so let's go with video after that there is terms and conditions you just have to go ahead and read them for once and yes do read the terms and conditions what you see on different websites because after that you are there are less chances of you to get scammed it was just a tip for you okay miller light newsletter so i do not want them to send me emails every day or once a week so i'm just gonna leave this Yes, I am not a robot. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and save. Once you save your profile, then the third step is to ready to send the request approval. Now on MailerLite, you have to get approved to avail different features or to upgrade. So you can go ahead and request an approval. All you have to do is just click right here. And after that, you can go ahead and select a verification method and add your website's URL. So for now, I am leaving that because I want to take you to the email marketing campaign so I could show you how you can actually create email marketing campaign on MailerLite. So we're just going to go to our dashboard back. So for now, I am not requesting an approval. So let's go ahead to the campaigns right here. And once I go to campaigns, you can see that here I can make my email marketing campaign and design it however I want to. So all you have to do is just go to create campaign option right here. Once you do that, you will be able to create your own email marketing campaign on MailerLite. Now, MailerLite has actually a lots of other features and there is an, a process for requesting an approval. But for now, I am telling you about the email marketing. So that's why I'm going to stick to this. So first things first, we have to choose a name for our campaign. Okay, there's an already a name suggestion for me. So I'm going with this video tutorials then subject subject will be videos simple as that you can go ahead and name your campaign whatever you want to who is it from my company how to digital and then this is the email that has been provided and the language will be english so let's start and go to content great 
after that they're asking me that how i want to design my email so there are different options available for example drag and drop editor or rich text editor and then there is custom html editor which is for the paid only so for now i'm using the free plan that's why i can avail these two i'm going with drag and drop editor because i find it real easy to just drag things and drop them on your text box and it's very easy to use so i'm going with this one so yeah guys you can see that this is what MailerLite looks like you can see that there are different options available for you you can see that when i take my error to different boxes you can see that we can actually customize them and edit them on the left side we have these options available for example all blocks header content rss features gallery buttons e-commerce special social and sharing survey and quiz and then comes the footer now from here we will choose our different content that we want to work on and on the right side you can see there are block type for example list card and full width then there are different fonts available and background color content settings button settings and footer settings so let's start first things first i want to remove this logo right here i do not want this on my email so what i will do is just simply delete that okay now it's deleted now i have to add a catchy header for my email campaign i'm just gonna click on this pencil which is the editing option and give my campaign a name save so this is the name of my campaign just like a random name you can go ahead and actually take your time and create a catchy headline after that, there is this subheading that people will see and the reader will get excited to read this line. So I wrote new videos for you every day. Then I want it to be center aligned. Okay, great. Save. Now our header is okay, subheading. Then there is this image option which they have actually embed themselves. So what happens is I want to add a text right here. So I will go to this thing and go to content once i do that i will be able to add text i do not want the pictures but i want some text so what i will do is just simply go to text and drag that and drop it right here now you will see that you can actually add different text right here if you want this text to be longer of course you will just go ahead and customize your own campaign your own text right here for now i'm just leaving it this way i don't know what language this is or this is not even english we're just gonna leave it after that there is this image option that they have created i'm actually liking this so i'm just gonna leave it like this so for example if the images were not here all you had to do was just go to gallery and you will just simply go ahead and drag the images where you want to place it next so now there is this button option they have already created a button so you're just gonna drop the button right here now i can just simply go and customize what the button says for example click here and save after that there is this text option that i do not want so i will simply delete that then there is create an account button i do not want that either so i will delete it then you can just actually go ahead and create a heading of your own and subheadings and add link to these for example you want you to add some website you can go ahead and add the link right here i do not want that so i'm just gonna simply delete these then there comes the footer and this is what the footer looks like it has all the information that i added and it has the socials so it looks good to me but if i wanted it to be different i would just simply go to edit and make it center aligned i guess once i do that it will look like this save so you can go ahead and change your footer settings or if you want your footer to look different go to footer right here and drag any of the footer you want to add for example this is the one with center alignment and this is like the left one so i think this one looks good so i'm gonna delete this one after that let me show you around what other elements you can add 
for example rss so what happens in rss is you can simply go ahead and add any rss list rss featured articles or rss with signature so for example i wanted to add a rss featured article so i would just simply go ahead and drag that and drop it right here once i do that you will see that right here i will get my rss feed all i have to do is just click here and get my rss feed from feedly or any other rss website that you are using so you would just simply copy the link right here and that article will be added into your campaign for now i'm just going to leave that after that you can go ahead and add any e-commerce if you want to now this is actually very cool so you can go ahead and add your e-commerce store right here for example i wanted to add two products from my e-commerce store i would simply go ahead and add here now what happens here is that you can go ahead and customize it as you like you can add the link of your shop right here and what will happen is a person who will click on your campaign will be able to go to your store with one click now that's a very cool feature that mailer light has it actually gives you the opportunity to create an amazing email marketing campaign so i'm just gonna leave these right here for example i had an e-commerce website so it will look like this after that there is a social and sharing option you saw that it has already been here so i wanted to add any social or a post for example you can actually go ahead and add the post of your different social media account right here then there is survey and quiz you can go ahead and create any survey for example you want to get a feedback then you can simply drag it and drop it right here and you can go ahead and create an awesome quiz of your own or survey within your email marketing campaign all you had to do was just click on edit once you do that you will be able to go ahead and create a survey with questions rules and settings and you can just go ahead and add a question template of your own and save it and you will be even able to see all the results so that is actually very awesome then there is the footer so features let's go to features in the features you will see that you can actually highlight three features or four features of your e-commerce website or your web shop or any other website that you work for for example i want to add features above all the feedback so what will happen is i can go ahead and actually change these features for example it was an educational campaign so i can go ahead and add features according to that or any other thing i want to for now i'm just gonna delete this okay so yeah i have actually shown you all the elements right here that will help you create the campaign so once your email has been created and you think that it looks okay it looks very good so you can just simply go ahead and done editing after that comes the recipient part all you have to do is just click on all active subscribers so your email campaign will be sent to all of the subscribers but if you have excluded special group you can select that and send this email to a particular group so for now i only have one recipient selected and now we're gonna go ahead and view and confirm our email campaign right here you will see the name of my campaign the sender and language it is okay after that right here i can actually see the content of my email i can go ahead and preview it again if i want to and you can actually edit any content or info right here also and then the recipients are given i can go ahead and edit the recipients for the last time if i want to. but if you are okay with all of these things you can just simply go ahead to schedule in the schedule they're asking when would you like to send this campaign you can just simply send now send later or you can actually deliver based on time zones which is for the paid only so we have two options send now or send later i want to send this email campaign right now so i'm gonna select this but you can go ahead and send it later if you want to after that would you like to track this campaign with google analytics so no i do not want that for now after that you can just simply go ahead and click on send once you do that your email 
will be sent to whatever your subscriber list was or your recipients so that was super easy to create your own email marketing campaign on Miller Lite. so i hope i was a big help to you if you have just started using Miller Lite. so now you can just go ahead and create awesome email marketing campaigns for your websites or your web shop make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel